Hey man, welfare dis destroyed the black communities, man. Straight up. And we ain't the only ones on welfare, but I'm gonna say overall, welfare destroyed the black communities, whether it was the agenda or not. You got, because when it, when it comes to public housing and stuff like that, all the benefits of the government, supposedly benefits, what comes with that is a man can be present in the household for them to give you housing assistance. You know what I'm saying? You can't have a man in there. So how y'all get married? How do you get married having uh, marriages? But still living in, you know, public housing. Also, that takes the man out of the family. So now the man is no longer there to provide or to lead as the head. So that also gives women women this false sense of security that, okay, well, I don't have to pay this much rent. I don't need no nigga. I mean, which, okay, it's an argument. Do, do you need a nigga or not? Maybe you don't need a nigga. But overall, you see the effect that it's having that there's no man for strong black men in the communities. Like, and it's, it's, it's also, also a knock on the fellas too. I ain't just gonna say that uh, it's, it's the women's fault either. Cause you know, we out here acting reckless. We out here, most of us out here raised by single moms ourselves. We react emotionally. You know, we didn't really got a lot of our priorities state straight. We don't really understand the power, the power of our money and shit like that. But as far as, as, far as the whole uh, welfare system, man, you know, food stamps, so now you got two things. There's no man around, and you still got shelter and food. So it gives you a false sense that, well, what a nigga can do for me? I, I don't need no nigga. The government might be dead. Basically, the government should be dead. You know what I'm saying? And that right there, just, it breaks down the structure of a household because now the child has one income from the mother. The mom still has to go to work or whatever, you know, make a little couple of dollars. So that leaves just one parent to pick a child up from daycare or whatever and and basically just one parent in the household teaching the child which we know statistically wise you know, one, one, parent, one child household are more susceptible to worse upbringing and stuff like that they don't do as good farther later on in life so, and that, that's all set up from the welfare system that's what it's made to do to take away the power of the uh, black communities so it's only structured to have one parent's mother, and they give her all the benefits. And it leads to what's going on now, a void between the black man and the black woman. And a forever little battle of who fault is this and who who's wrong or why we don't get along, why women don't see black men as kings, why men don't see a black woman as queens. You know, it's not too many other uh, races that act like that overall towards the other sex of the same races. You don't see white women really doing too much of that. Chinese, you don't see too many different races doing that. But black people, we're really always at odds. It's, it's been like that for a long time. And it's crazy coming from slavery and oppression to these times now. And now we just beef with each other. First it was everybody's together, fighting against the oppressors. Now we just beef with each other now. So it's always, it was always, we always had this fight mentality, this whole, this whole like, always at odds with somebody. We ain't had no, we don't know our culture, we don't, it's just so much shit with that shit, man. It's fucked a lot of shit up. You know what I mean? The way we look at each other. We, I mean, it's harder for us to come together and bring any type of power in the numbers, economical power, anything. Support, businesses. We can't even begin to get into no, nothing like that because we always at odds with each other because of this, these systems that have been set up that whether we're aware or not, they're still spanking us. That's just my take on it, man. All right, you man.